Okay. Okay. Now slow down. We, you no, said, no. You, no, you're saying we can calculate the distance that the car is away. That is only Sorry? if, if, if you know what percent of the speed of sound it was leaving at. You don't know the speed of the stars were stretched out into place. Uh, we, we we can see the frequency of we can see the frequency of the redshift. We can see that the spectroscopy of the stars um, I agree. have moved by a certain amount, and and that that gives us the value for the frequency. Uh, once we have that, all we need is the Hubble constant, and we're we're golden. We get the distances. Um, we get we uh, oh, oh, not not even of stars. We're talking galaxies. We're talking sure. intergalactic. Um, I'm not arguing. About, I'm not. I didn't argue about the distances. I said I'm arguing about the time. A, okay, but this a, is light, related to time. a light year is not a year. A light year is a distance. Okay, Ken, let's, let's try this again. If light has traveled for a light year, it has traveled a distance of a light year, how long has it taken it to travel that? If it is traveling at one light year per, uh, per second, then it's one second old. Hold on, hold on. No, no, that's not my question. Let's say light has traveled a distance of a light year, yeah? yeah how I long see. does it take to get from the beginning to the finish line of this light year long racetrack. With no other things affecting it, uh, light would travel about 186,282 feet or miles uh, per second. That's and how long would it take? It would take one year to go that distance if nothing Thank else you, was affecting it. Thank you, Ken. You're missing the point completely. Absolutely completely missing the point. You say that over and over, but you're not demonstrating it. Tell me, what am I missing? Okay, how old was Adam on day one? According to the so Bible, saying, he was so you're, one you're day old. You're using the, the Omphilus argument then. You're saying that the universe was created old. No, I'm not using that argument. I'm saying it, in order for it to function, it has to be created mature. There has to already be apples hanging on the tree for Adam to eat. He can't wait for them to grow from a seed. God had to make a mature creation because they're going to die if there isn't food. The whole system's already in place. Symbiotic relationships. So that's what, so that's what you're saying. You are saying that the universe was created to look old. I think, or no, not to look old. It was created mature. To us, it would look old because that's all we're familiar with: is born, at, you know, small and grow bigger. But to them, it looked normal. So the God didn't the fool anybody to create. What is the look distinction old. between looking old and being old? Well, it depends which one you are. If, if, to us, everything that looks old probably is old. To Adam and Eve, he looked brand new, and Eve looked brand new. But if God made the stars on day four and stretched them out into place, which is what it says seventeen times in the Bible, then. It could indeed be 6,000 years old and be billions of light years away. You don't get it. Okay, I, I predicted this. This is Hovinding. I'm going to read again what I wrote. Hovinding? Uh, I predict, yeah, I, okay. at the end I, I said, I predict that whenever I corner Mr. Hoven on any matter, demonstrating that the rejection of a particular phenomenon results in a vision of the universe that is patently absurd, such as the universe being 6,000 light years long, uh, my opponent will claim without evidentiary justification that the variables under discussion or the principles being rejected used to be different, that the laws of physics, whatever reason, changed over time in such a manner as to make the universe appear to be billions of years okay, old rather than thousands. You did now, not. What, what you're saying is that, is that through this invocation of magic, through this divine intervention, that in effect the laws of physics uh, were different, that this stretching of the universe um, to its present size with, with, with the recessional velocities that it was stretched with um, and which it continues to be stretched with, by the way, that hasn't stopped. Correct. Um, that that this this uh, this contradicts uh, what the science says. That this there's this special case of divine intervention that makes it only look mature when in reality well, no. um, it's only six thousand years old. You're missing the point again. You did not corner me, by the way, at all. I did not reject any laws of physics. Let's instead of light, let's take it with sound. If a car is leaving us at seven hundred feet per second. But the sound from the car is traveling back toward us at 711 feet per second. Is it possible for the car, for the sound, measuring at the speed of sound, to be different than the actual distance to the car? Or to the time it took for the car to get there? The frequency is going to be different, yes. Sure, that's what the Doppler effect is all about when it comes to sound. It's the same with light. That's why we well, have a red shift. Not different, Kent. The speed hasn't changed, the frequency has. Well, that's why we have a red shift. It's yes. the Doppler effect. But that's a, he's saying that's due to a change of frequency, not a change of speed. Is it do you possible? know what the difference is between frequency and speed, Ken? I do. What if a star is leaving us at one half the speed of light? Are, are, the stars mo are the galaxies moving away from us? Yes or no? Are the galaxies moving? Yes or no? 
the galaxies themselves are moving. Are they, um, and they appear to be moving? We're talking about the expansion of the universe. Okay. It's more accurate to say you believe, space. You believe, space. and I believe, we both believe in the expansion of the universe. I believe it's happening. I can't prove it. I think it's difficult to measure those distances beyond about 100 light years with the trigonometry. But, but you don't need parallax to make those measurements. Sure, you can understand. use standard candles. Right. Uh, luminosity, that kind of stuff. Okay. But if the stars are 13.8 billion light years away, in your mind, the light had to start there to get here, when the reality is the star started here and went there, and Adam and Eve could see the taillights as they receded, and they could have been made two seconds ago and still be that distance out there if they were moving fast enough. Okay, Ken, again, you're misunderstanding the physics. If the light, let's say the star started 6,000 light years away from us, and the light began moving toward us, and then God stretches the universe, and the light is now 13.8 billion light years away, so. uh -huh. Um and now the light, which started 6,000 light years away from us, is reaching us. Yep. I didn't say it started 6,000 light years away. Let's say, let's say for the sake of argument that it started 6,000 light years away from us. Then the light, would, that, just, the light would just now be coming on. I agree. Yeah. And, and now we're looking at the light of a star that's 13.8 billion light years away, even though the light is 6,000 years old. Is that what you're saying? That is one option. I, did, I don't know where they started from. All I know is the Bible 17 times says God struck okay, out hypothetically, the hypothetically, it starts 6,000 light years away, and so we see light that's 6,000 light years old instead of 13.8 billion years old, even though the star is 13.8 billion light years away. Well, no, I disagree, because Adam and Eve could see the stars the first day. So they could not have started 6,000 light years away. Well, if you wouldn't have seen okay. them. Nobody would have seen them until today. They would just now be flickering on in the universe. And we all know from history, people have always seen the stars. So I disagree. They started 6,000 light years away. But whatever distance they started doesn't matter. The fact is, you can answer the same problem of these great distances to the stars with either great age or a stretching of the universe. You okay, have chosen... The answer is no, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But you've chosen the great age. No, you've chosen, that they're, they're, you've they're, chosen the great age because you have to have billions of years for your theory. Hello? You have chosen to believe the stars indicate great age rather than stretching because you need billions of years for your crocodile to turn into your duck. No, this thing 